Hi, my name is Jim Blythe. I'm a former professor of business and uh, I'd just like to explain some of the aspects of the European Union to you. Uh, today I thought I would talk about uh, the accusation that's commonly put forward that as the UK we joined a free trade area when we joined the European Union and that's what we thought we were joining. Um, but in fact, we were not joining uh, an organisation that would lead to greater unity or uh, towards a federal Europe. Now, in fact, when we joined the European Union uh, back in 1973, um, we were already members of the European Free Trade Area, EFTA. So we were, in fact, already members of the free trade area that involved the European Union and also Iceland, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, some other countries. So we joined in 1973 in the full knowledge that we were joining something that would create greater unity. The greater unity aspect of the, of the European Union is in fact uh, on the second page of the Treaty of Rome, which was signed in 1957, um, almost what, 15 years, 16 years before we ever joined the European Union. So. In 1973, we joined in the full knowledge that we were joining uh, an organisation that would eventually seek to become much more united. Then in 1975, we had a referendum to that effect, um, in the course of which it was quite clearly explained that what we were joining and what we were staying in, voting to stay with, um, was in fact um, the European Union, what would become the European Union, and that it was dedicated to becoming more unified, i.e. going far beyond a simple free trade area. So, years have gone by. Uh, that referendum, we uh, voted 67% in favour of remaining. And the years have gone by, and the European Union has become a great deal more unified. Now, uh, we don't even need to go through customs when we cross borders, uh, apart from if you're smuggling drugs, then <laughs> you'll have a problem. Um, but the, the customs posts only exist for that kind of thing. If you're smuggling contraband, then uh, you will be in trouble with customs. But for normal day-to-day -day things, we can go to France on a booze cruise and come back with plenty of wine and cigarettes if you smoke. Um, we can drive through most of Europe without showing our passports. Um, if you're a business, you can uh, send stuff uh, throughout Europe without having to have a lot of customs forms to fill in and without having your trucks stopped at cut border posts here and there and everywhere. Um, you don't need to have any of that uh, paperwork. The European Union has reduced red tape dramatically um, in terms of international trade and is dedicated to continuing to do so. That is what we joined up to achieve. That's what we voted to achieve in 1975. So the idea that the European Union, uh, that we were somehow cons into joining something that went beyond a free trade area is just, sorry, simply a myth. Thanks for listening. Talk to you again soon.